Hello all, this is Brisky and today we are going to see about the error detection and error correction in the computer communication subject. As we all know that in networks, we need to transmit a data from one point to another point, so with acceptable accuracy. Anytime data are transmitted from one node to the other node, it can become corrupted at any point. So we need some application require uh, in order to detect and the correct errors. So first let us see what are the types of errors. Single bit error and a burst error. So first let us see what is single bit error. In single bit error, only one bit of data unit is changed, that is from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1. Whereas in burst error, when two or more data bits have changed from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1, then that kind is called as burst error. Let us see in this diagram. So let us see in the sent diagram. So this is the data and this is the received data. Here 0 is corrupted and it is changed to 1. So this is called as single bit error. Whereas in this diagram, two are more bits here 0 to 1, 1 to 0 and 1 to 0. So these um, two are more bits are changed from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 and this kind is called as burst error. One more terminology we need to know in networks is redundancy. So we need to send some extra bit with our data in order to perform error detection and error correction. So these are the mechanisms in order to perform error detection and error correction. Cyclic redundancy check, Hamming distance checksum. In this video, we are going to see about what is cyclic redundancy check. It's also called as CRC mechanism. So in CRC, we are having an encoder, decoder and generator. And the CRC generator is common for both encoder and decoder. So in the encoder, we are going to transmit a data. So here, the data word is nothing but this is the data which we are going to transmit. And here we are going to perform a division kind of operation. It is modulo 2 operation. So here the divisor, it is generated, it is uh, predefined by the CRC generator, which is common for both encoder as well as the decoder. In the data word, we are going to augment some bits. That is, uh, if we take the divisor, uh, n number of, uh, that is 1011, here the n is 4. But we need to add the uh, n minus 1 number of zeros to our data word. That will be our dividend. That is, for example, here n is 4. So n minus 1 number of zero. That is 3 number of zeros we are going to add with our data word. For example, if we have a, a divisor of 10110, that is 5, n number is 5. So in that case, we need to uh, add n minus 1 number of zeros to our uh, data word that is four number of zero we need to add so in this operation we are going to perform XOR operation so XOR operation as we all know that when we have uh, uh, two bits which is of same that is zero zero and one one means we'll be getting zero and zero one one zero in that case our answer will be one so uh, we know that XOR operation so uh, well, when we do this division one zero one one so one times one zero one one then the answer is 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 1 becomes 1, 1, 1 is 0. So we will discard the leftmost bit and we pull back the next number that is 0. Here the leftmost bit is 0, we can use this uh, 0, 0, 0 divisor. So again we will perform this XOR operation. So we will be getting here 1, 0, 0. Again we can pull back the another digit 0 here. Then uh, one one time it will go then one zero one one and we'll get the answer zero zero one one and we can discard this leftmost bit and we can pull back this digit and we can perform the operation since leftmost bit is zero so zero time again zero 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 when we perform XOR operation zero zero becomes zero one zero one one zero one zero zero zero, zero. And this is our remainder. Now we are going to append this reminder to our code word, that is data word, which will form the code word. So what is our data word? Our data word is 1001. This is our data which we are going to transmit from 
one one into other n so uh, what is the remainder which we uh, got here is through this division one one zero that we are going to append with this data word so data word plus remainder that is nothing but it is our code word so our encoder part is over now in the decoder part we can we can see with the two cases so in the first case so our code word what we got is uh, through the previous division one zero zero one double one zero so this is the uncorrupted data so with this code word uh, as I said earlier so the CRC generator is going to be same that is uh, the device is going to be same for both encoder as well as for the decoder so one zero double one is our divisor so uh, we are going to use this code word as the divide in here and we can perform the same operation using XR modulo to division so one times we'll get this value in the leftmost bit we can discard and uh, here the leftmost bit is zero so we can use uh, zero 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 as a divisor then we'll be getting this answer and again one time it will go here and this will perform the operation and finally here we'll be getting the value as zero 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 so syndrome syndrome is nothing but uh, uh, what is the remainder I mean we are getting through this division that is called a syndrome when the syndrome is fully zero your data word is accepted if when a syndrome is non-zero then your data word will get discarded so let us see another case suppose when uh, when our code word is uncorrupted sorry corrupted in the previous case we uh, we took the code word as uh, uh, the same code word which we got in the encoder that is which is uncorrupted one zero zero one 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 zero in the second case we are going to see the corrupted one only one bit has changed here that is from one to zero let us see in this case when we perform the operation division operation same XOR modulo 2 operation finally we will be getting zero one one so in this case our syndrome is non-zero so in this case our data word will get discarded it will not be the correct data word so by the CRC mechanism we are not going to correct the error we are just going to detect the error hope you all understand the video thanks for watching the video Ta-da.